I'm with Mike, who's a musician and an artist. Good evening. A bullshit artist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that too, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, not me. And you are obviously an agnostic front, yes. and you've been off and on with them for years, if I remember right. I've always been on for 16 years. Yes. Before you became the permanent member, didn't you have some bits with the, the band before you joined you know, full time? No, no, I've always been a member okay. since I joined. There's only two tours I didn't make. Right. One tour I didn't make when my mother was sick, and uh, the other one when I had when my baby was born. Yeah. You know, that's kind of understandable. She's a bit more important than the band, even though the band's well, important. Exactly, absolutely. I said this is one thing I'm not going to miss. Yeah. I remember Rod saying, you could just fly out when you find... I'm like, no. I was like, please don't book any shows around that time. But I guess they had they had a tour that came up. They didn't want to tour, turn down. And um, I said, we'll find someone else because I'm not coming on this one. That's it. You know, it's the only only time. It's your only pause with the yes, band. That's it, yeah. So for 16 years, I've been... Yeah, out there. These guys. Yeah. And such intense, incredible music, yet... You're a softie, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Until you get me going. You know. You know, um, um, I guess how to explain it. It's like, like, even like my wife knows, like, when I get pissed off, I get really mad. And I rage. And then, five minutes later, it's done, it's over. So she just Let's leaves, just leaves me alone. Him. I'll get mad, I'll smash a few things, and then I'm good. Storm passes, you're back to Yes, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it takes a lot to get me going, too, yeah. so. so. Normally, it doesn't happen much. Yeah. So, that's a good thing, I think. So, any of the aggression that you might have had building, that comes out with the music, then. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I find other ways to get it out, you know, through music, working out, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. And your art. You, you do a lot of artwork. Um, how, what, how do you do that? How did you get into doing art first? Oh, um, I've always been into art as a kid. And I remember as, as, as a child and even, you know, finishing up high school and I even went into college to do like advertising art. And I absolutely hated it. Yeah. You know, it was a, a different. Um, I figured it was kind of like a, a scene where I could do art and make money because you know how it is it's so hard to make money off of art you know it's really it's tough so i figured let me try and do that and i just didn't like it it was a lot of competition it was just very it wasn't to me it wasn't really like doing art and being expressive it was just like i don't know i just didn't like it I'm like this is not what i wasn't enjoying it so i i at the time i was getting into playing music also and then i wound up just getting big into music and who the hell knew, would ever know that I get a chance to join this band and then I just didn't have time and after like after that it kind of turned me off from the art thing I didn't, I didn't even bother doing it anymore I was just like whatever and then um, a couple of years actually as when I moved out of New York we started the family you know my wife owned a house in Jersey and you know so now I have the space to do it when I was living in Manhattan living in a one room apartment uh, it's just, there's, there's no, I mean, you, I guess I could have, but especially the way I do it, like I do a lot of stuff with spray paint. Okay. So you can't be spray painting inside Not of one. in a small studio no. flat. No. So it's just, you know, it's ridiculous. So I, I just recently got back into it, um, not just doodling around. And our friend of mine was an artist and I saw that he would do some things on vinyl record. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And he's like, yeah, I don't bother doing it on vinyl record anymore. And that, you know, whatever. I think like, I got a whole bunch if you want to, you know, if you want to. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I did one for a friend of mine for his birthday, and he loved it. I was like, this is so cool, you know, I love it. And I brought it to the birthday party, and so many people were like, oh, those are so awesome. You know, like, you know, would you make me one? Are they for sale? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, I sell them. Yeah. Like, I do now. <laughs> You've just put the idea in my head. I'm yes, selling them. Yes, and then I just started making more and more and more and um, putting them online. And uh, it's unbelievable like how I've actually... It's kind of becoming my side job now, without, besides the band. And I just created a website that I'm eventually about to start 
eventually about to launch. I just had to work out some kinks and um, so that's been what I keep myself. Every ounce of free time that I have, I'm doing art. Yeah. And where can people buy your art? Because it really is brilliant. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I'm on Instagram. Okay. You can go on my Instagram. It's um, Mike Allo 1975. I got all my art on there, and anybody can just message me if they want. And I'm also starting um, my business is going to be called Gallo Originals, and um, it's I'm going to have the website up. But if you follow me on IG on Instagram. And on Facebook also as well. But Instagram is more of a, a way where I get my stuff out there. Yeah, well, it's visual. So. Yes, exactly. So uh, anybody can go on my page. It's Mike Allo 1975 And, uh, you know, they can check out my stuff. Pictures of my daughter. and uh, She is such a gorgeous little you. thing. Thank you. Yeah, she's um, the love of my life, you know. You can see why. Yeah. She is. <laughs> yeah, she's something else. And also, you, you're a musician, yes. you're an artist, you're a dad, yep. you're a husband, yep. you're a barber. Yes, I'm a barber as well, yeah. You know, I was cutting hair when I was living in Manhattan, uh, but I live in Jersey now, and I don't have a Jersey license, okay. so, and then when we had the baby, my deal was to watch the baby when I'm not on the road. Yeah. So I kind of, but I have a barber chair in the basement, I have a couple of guys I still do that so, so I can keep my skills up, and you never maybe one day I'll go back to doing it you know but my goal is not to my ultimate goal in life is actually not to really go I wouldn't mind doing it maybe a couple of days a week yeah. like maybe when the baby's older and she's in school maybe pick up a couple of days doing that yeah. but I mostly want to concentrate on doing my art if I could do music and art then I'm just doing everything I love and I, actually I love cutting hair I, I do enjoy it I do like it you know I really do I mean I I've only been doing it, I don't know, maybe four or five years now. And I enjoyed it. I got really good really fast. The guys that taught me really showed me the right way to do it. And I had, at this age, at the time, I was like, I need to make this my job. I need to make money in between tours. I had to learn fast. And I did. I made it a point to. But then my life just changed so much. You know, we had a baby and just like, wow. Really the whole family came in and changed. life changed yeah, again. got married and just, you know, I, I mean... I'd be totally honest with you. I, if you told me I'd be married with a kid four years ago, I'd be like, you're out of your fucking mind. I just, it's funny how, it's, it's funny how life could just change that fast. It does, and often quite, like in your case, for the better. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, definitely, my life is so much better now. You know, I always remember just, I remember like it was one, one night in particular just, in the apartment and um, just hanging out in the apartment. Nope, it was just me. I'm in there and I was just, I had like a night off and I was just kind of like saying to myself, like, ah, you know, I I'm happy. I have a good life. I, you know, I couldn't complain, like, you know, but I, was, I always felt like I was like, something's missing, you know? And then next thing you know, you know, now I got a beautiful family, family and um, that was it. Now, just like I said, I got, I got, I got everything that anyone can actually ask for. You know, I got a beautiful family, an amazing band, great friends, um, do my artwork, and it's it just, you know, I, I, I'm a simple guy. I don't really, you know, that's all I really need, you know? And you get to travel, because we're standing here in England, yeah. and you go all over the world with the Agnostic Front. Yes, absolutely. So I get to travel. I have friends all over the world, you know, and it's like, you know, I run into good people like you guys, and it's all over the world, you know, I could say, I could go somewhere and I can, you know, be like, hey, I have a friend here. Yeah. You know, like me and my wife just did our honeymoon after my last tour. We did it in Ireland. Oh, oh Ireland is so gorgeous. And then we went to a bar. She doesn't actually drink. But she said, you want to go to a bar and get a drink? Let's look up a punk rock bar, you know? So we found a cute little punk, punk rock bar in, um, in Dublin. I'm trying to think of the name of the, house, the bar, and I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, which I'm like... Ugh. The only one I know there that does punk is Thomas House, that's I think it, it is. Okay. Yes, oh, I love it. that place. That's the bar, and we met the bartender, and he owned the place, and just such a great guy. And we were talking to him, and he's like, oh, you're from New York. And I didn't say anything about the band. I didn't want to like be like, you know. But we got into talking, and eventually it came out, and 
and he's like, oh, my buddy um, Leo tattoos me. He used to be New York City, and I'm like, I know Leo, you know, just like that. And then we hung out with him and his wife the whole time, and just like, it's, it's awesome, you know. It's just really cool. So it was a lot of fun. It's just, it's the way life should be, I think. To yeah. to have friends everywhere, travel everywhere, and do and live the life you love. Absolutely. Just like from the words of Vinny Stigma, it's easier to make a friend than an enemy. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And better. Much yeah. better. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got friends, we got enemies, but for the most part, you know, we're loved all over the world. You know, we're always known as the good guys of hardcore. Definitely. Not everybody says that, but when it comes down to it in reality, I mean, you talk to everybody in the scene, they'll tell you that. You, know. you definitely have that reputation, yeah, without a doubt. And we look forward to see you and your jumps on stage tonight. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll do, do some jumps. I'll do a few good ones. It always depends on the stage. And yeah. Yeah, the, the older I get, the less I do. <laughs> yeah. But I always throw a couple in there. Nice big stage, it's easy. Like the past few nights, we played these tiny little clubs. Yeah. Ah, you know, it's hard to do a couple of jumps, you know? Yeah, and the stage tonight, it's tiny, it's so. Tiny, so. I'll throw one in for you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Appreciate it. And we will see you next time you're over here. Absolutely. Great. Thank you again. Thank you. Cheers. Let's go.